Holding. Action. There was a little boy called David Lammy and uh, he was uh, monitoring the cloakroom and all the children, these horrible little terrorists some of them were, are doing exactly as he wanted and I thought, gosh, that boy's got a something to him, something different. And also he had an amazing soprano voice and so I said to the head, why don't we try and get him into a, a cathedral choir so he talked to the vicar, and between them they got David into Peterborough Cathedral Choir. And when David got there, I was told off by my teacher friend at the time. She said, you're very cruel sending him away like that, because he'll be the only black boy. So I worried about him forever after, after until I heard from him later. Um, I've never seen him since, but he, I feel very proud of him indeed. So Mary, after I met you last week, and you told me about David Lammy, yes. I went home and yes. I sent David Lammy a tweet. Oh yeah. And I said, I'm working on a film project and met your music teacher, yeah. Mary Shepherd. Yeah. Any chance for a reunion yeah. in Kent for yeah. our film about yeah. memories? Yeah. And I'm really delighted to tell you yeah. Yeah. that he's going to come down here. Oh no! Oh how absolutely marvellous. He's going to come down on yeah. the 28th of October yes. to meet you to oh. have a reunion. Oh how lovely. Bless his heart. Mrs Shepherd, hello, good to see you. I, you know, I worry such a lot about you. Look at you, great big <laughs> Because every Christmas I thought about it, I thought he's being bullied, he's being this, that and the other. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. But it, it turned out in case I was ever so pleased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I think it's better than that. Yeah. Oh. I think it changed my life. Yeah. So I owe a lot to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm sorry that you worried about it because uh, it changed my life. So what I remember really stands out on my head. And actually, as I was travelling here this morning, I was singing it. I was singing as Miss Dear Lila goes a walking in the morning. Long <laughs> mate, Lila. Um, and I think there must have been something, you know, for us, you know, we were poor, we were growing up in the inner city, Broadwater Farm. In those days, I certainly had no idea what excellence was, what it was to be fantastic at something. And um, you were the first teacher, frankly, in my life to give me a taste of what that felt like and to really excel. I used to play the piano, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> beautifully. <laughs> um, I would not be a member of parliament. I would no. not have become a lawyer or a barrister. I would no. not have gone to Harvard no. Law School no. had it not been for yeah. that intervention yes. um, at that point, yeah. because the truth was my parents were splitting up. Oh, yes, I it mean. was tough yeah. at home yeah. and I am quite sure that I would have gone off the rails. Well, as I said to you, you changed my life. Thank you. And I am very, very grateful.